Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second part of Hoongai's Dynasty Warriors 3 campaign. Let's check in on him. Ah, another familiar map, Luau Gate. I suggest my lord Wan Shao. Oh, I suggest Sun Jian. Screw this guy. Yes. All right then. You have to think about that. I accept <laughs> the position of Grand Commander, and I swear to destroy the traitor Don Zhao. Right. You better be good then. Once again, Dio Chan. As I said before, as I said, she has an interesting backstory. And Blue Boo. I shall accompany you. I still love his expression. It's like, are you fucking serious? You're going to accompany me? But actually, she's a bit more useful than that, obviously. She's not a weakling. Anyway, here we are again at Huau Gates. Uh, I'm going to skip the introduction this time because you should already know the story of this if you watched my Let's Play of the last one. But basically, Dong Zhuao betrays the Emperor. Uh, he's a scumbag and he's a bit of a pig, so we need to stop him. Always a good thing. So let's check the unit info. There's one Shao. There's some guy, Wu Bei. Sun Jian, which we'll be starting. As you can see, our starting position has changed again. We're now where Wu will be starting instead of with Wei. And there's one Shu. And Dong Zhuo for the enemy team. Lu Bu. Maybe we'll get to see Wu Bu a bit more this time. I'm actually planning on something possibly involving Wu Bu this time. And a bunch of the guys we don't care about. Alright, conditions. Must defeat Dong Zhuo and must prevent one Shao from being defeated. Now, unfortunately, last time we didn't really get that much. We've got a mounted defense in our iron rod. Not very useful. We didn't get any new items, so we're still stuck with this, but that's fine. I think that forward attack's going to be useful. And the bodyguards didn't upgrade, so they can just still remain meh. Let's do this! Let's rock. Once again, the battle at Huau Gate with Hungai. Alright. So, for those that remember my last recording, you'll remember that Wu are basically attacking the Fon Shui gate. Wow. But we're going to do things a little bit roundabout way for a very particular reason. And for those who remember my. When I did the Jazar Hun Dune, you'll know exactly why I'm going to do the path I'm going to take. So let's take care of Zhao Ken here. Zhao Shen. My apologies. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. I can still do the charge attack finisher. Hopefully that will be our next tier weapon. We're going to need to get some better weapons, I think, with this guy. Since having a short range means hopefully he's a bit more powerful. That was a quick and easy fight. What are you doing? Silly fool! <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Two officers defeated in under a minute. Ah, this is more like it. This is more I want to see. Not like last time. Everyone fails. No, this time it's going to be kick to the face. Kick to the face. Get rid of them all. Oh, I see they still want to fight, do they? Right then. I'll take care of that. Yeah, pest. The gate is open. I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to head straight through Fun Shui Gate and go help Wei. Here he is again, the mighty Lu Bu. Once again, one shoe is probably screwed. And we get Wu Bu's theme. It's an awesome theme. It's not the best music in the game, in my opinion. But it's up there. Anyway, we're going to go help Wei because we're going to be aiming for that gate captain that you can probably see on top. So, 
Actually, just before we do that, we're gonna go take care of the other thing I wonder if any of you remember from last time as well. And that is, you know, apart from these archers, which we should take care of anyway. It's always ready to take care of archers. Bam! Get out of my way. Get out of my way, you silly archer. Is of course the life up part. Or the music up part in this case. Always want to be getting those. At least we're going to be guaranteed some uh, life ups on this map. We'll let that archer go, I think. Before we dealt with. Now you can probably see that gate captain on the top of the screen. On the uh, overview map. You can see it spawning enemies already. So, as you can see the, the value of taking it out of the equation early. More archers to deal with. This will take like a little bit of a risk here. Among these units. Not getting pounded so much this time. Maybe because of the increased defense of that amulet. The higher defense you have sometimes equates to how much enemy um, officers and everything affects you. So, with the exception of archers, archers always bug you. But, like, you see, I'm not getting pounded as much by the uh, sergeants and the majors. Maybe a little bit by the archers, but that's irrelevant. Smack him. See, that time the sergeant didn't affect me. That's mostly because I have a higher defense than last time with due to the item. So, therefore, it's less likely that privates and sergeants and majors at this stage are going to bug me. Now that we've taken care of that, real quick. Yeah, one she's going to die. We all know it. I'm nowhere near capable of saving him. I'm not even sure if saving him does anything. Now, one shoe is apparently an important character in later Dynasty games. He plays a bigger role than he does here, which is basically being woo boo cannon fodder. <laughs> There's some wave forces coming up. Get some health. Oh, this time Zangri Ao had the honours. Maybe we'll see him this time as well. Well, goodbye to one shoe. And hello to Gate Captain, which we're going to take care of right now. Looks like we're going to have to go for a few of the leftover forces, but that's okay. But as I'll explain in a minute, one shoe actually has a bit more purpose in this, in the context of this mission than I previously remembered. And I'll explain that when the cutscene comes up, which should be any second now, hopefully. Or maybe it won't show up at all, maybe because one shoe's been wiped out already. But basically I said last time that once when the cutscene happened when Sun Jung was like, Wan Chu's army still has not moved. And I went, why does this matter in the context of the battle? Well, as I previous as I played in Easter Warriors 4, I should have known the answer to this, but I had forgotten. And the answer is, in the historical context of the game, as Stai6268 pointed out to me, Wan Chu was supposed to send supplies to Sun Jung. So when he didn't get them, he was naturally a bit annoyed. Of course, the game does fuck all to explain this. It's like, oh, he's just in danger now for no reason whatsoever. Okay, we'll upset that explanation. <laughs> but in actual fact, it's because one shoe was meant to send supplies to him. Which is explained a lot better in Dynasty Warriors 4 with the side mission as such. Now then who's finished his business with one shoe. Now this is where we're going to do something a little different. We're not going to go help Wei push down towards the gate with Hao Zhuang. We're actually going to go help out Shu this time. And we're going to sort of circle back and flank Wei Zhuang from the rear while taking care of some gate captains and, again, avoiding Wu Bu for a bit. But this time, I'm actually going to be a bit risky and I'm going to take on Wu Bu. Just to show you how tough he is. And before I'm proven wrong, of course, and he turns out to be really easy. But he is tough, trust me. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. Just got lucky last time. But he is really tough. I think in free mode, because I did sort of a few sort of playthroughs on the other memory card, I did a free mode, and Wubu's not quite as strong on there, even though I played as a starter character. But I think on free mode, they sort of slightly adjust his ability. And then Shang Fei doing his Muzu attack. We're going to head straight for Wang Fang now. But trust me when I say that the proper Wu Bu is tough. He'll do a lot of damage to you. The only difference is on free mode, I think sometimes they kind of adjust his health. So he still very hits hard, but you can take him out a lot easier. 
Yeah, there's one Fang out the equation. Looks like the gate's already open, actually. They must have made some good progress. Whack! Get out of here, punk. I believe he's done a good job of closing the gate here. So, bam! Take care of those guys. Thank you to Sty6268 for pointing out that observation about one shoe. Although it would be nice if the game explained it a bit better, but hey, that's what reading the backstory is for, I guess. So where's Wu Boo at this point? Oh boy, Wu Boo has gone near Hazuang. This is going to be incredibly awkward. As I say, he does do that. Sometimes he heads straight for Wan Shao if you let him. This is going to be awkward now. If Wan Shao moves out too much, he's going to be right in Wu Boo's path. So. Looks like we're going to have to take care of Wubu a little bit more this time. Instead of just avoiding him completely. That's okay. There's an item I want. And Wubu is the key to gain that item. Basically, if you defeat Wubu, you get one of the best items in the game. You don't unlock Wubu, unfortunately. You have to do something a bit different for that. But, defeating Wubu on this mission gives you one of the best items in the game. I'll let you guess what that is. But it's pretty darn good, and it's definitely worth having a crack at him for. So, while I'd normally ignore him, I'd really like that item. So we're going to go quabber. I'm just going to quabber these guys with my iron rod, slash whip, slash mace, slash whatever. It's a if this is a whip, it's the strangest whip I have ever seen in my life. In all seriousness. So just take out this gate guard. Alright. Enough messing around. We must be prompt and efficient this time around. And not least because we've already done this mission once already. So we're going to head straight for enemies. We've got enough defense to survive all the uh, private's attacks. So we're being more encouraged to be aggressive and head straight for the key. And you'll be doing this a lot anyway once you get the hang of the game. You'll be just going straight for officers. You won't be messing around with killing off wave upon wave of enemies. Especially if they don't bother you. So here's Zulong, I'm going to knock him off. I'm going to ignore him for a minute and enter this gate captain. Need to take out first, so we're not overrun with pests. I want, a I want a few around just to build up my Muzu gauge, but I don't want that many, so I'm getting pounded by everything. Zulong wants to come back into the battle, I see. <laughs> he must have got back on his horse. So gate captain has taken out the equation. Drop the plus two shield. That's different. Normally only drop plus ones. Maybe I did something extra special, perhaps. I don't have no explanation for that. I know you can combo things to get higher bonuses, but I don't think I've comboed him that much. Or maybe I did. Perhaps the Muzu attack did a lot more than I thought. Anyway, Zulong's out the equation. He's done with, which is good. So bye bye to you. So that's good. We're on a roll. Zulong's been destroyed, and now we need to take care of Hazwan. But we also need to avoid Lu Bu for the moment. Unfortunately, Lu Bu is quite close by, so we're going to have to play this cute and sort of sneak around him a little bit. Ah, hello there. You shall not go another step. And here's Zhang Liao, who was originally Dong Zhuo slash Wu Bu's kind of officer. As you know, he joins Wei. How dare he join Wei? He should have joined Wu in this particular instance. He's apparently disappeared as well. I missed the draw distance and everything. That will sometimes happen when there's a lot of enemies around. Basically, people will disappear. It's sort of a limitation, but it's not too bad. It's definitely... Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Zhang Liao. Oh, you son of a bitch. I forgot you had stupid brain. Ah, Get off me, you darn monkey boy. Come on. Bam. Smack him down. Take this, Zhang Liao. That's for Taisha Chi. Later. <laughs> Maybe. Than they say. I am strong, thank you. 
So yeah, Zhang Liao's kind of like a strategist kind of character. He's very noble, very sort of seeks the, the pursuit of strength and all that. Which is why he joined Dong Zhuo and Wu Bu. He was kind of like, sort of attracted to the power of Lu Bu. But really when he joins Wei because Wu Bu is very powerful. But Wu Bu is also just obsessed with killing everything. He's no real loyalties and stuff, you know. He betrays everyone he ever met and ever came across. He betrays Dong Zhuo later. And he'll be honest, he's, I think the only person he was ever really loyal to was Dio Chan, his uh, girlfriend, slash wife, slash whatever. So that takes care of Zhang Liao, and thank goodness for that. I see this guy can still affect me, so my defense isn't that high, that I can't be completely unaffected. Oh wow, where is Wubu going? <laughs> he's on top of the gate right now. Looks like he's finding Cow Cow for the moment. Alright, so... Ah, uh, get off! I'm gonna need to fight you guys. Alright, so we're gonna try and sneak Hao Zhuang while Wubu seems to be busy on top of the gate. And then we should be in a good position to kind of isolate Wubu. Which is what we want to do. We want to isolate him, and then we're going to sort of pick him off. Not that that's easy, of course, because he'll kill everyone around him, so we don't want to be too near too many friendlies. Ooh, those one's almost dead. Finishing kill! Finishing kill! Oh! Shoulder barge and good night. Easiest officer kill ever. Oh, looks like he was nearly dead anyway. Ah, good. Excellent. How long has been destroyed? He probably would have died anyway if we'd left him, but I wanted the power up. Alright, so let's just keep going a little bit here. A bit of a... And the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take care of the gate captain. Hmm. I'm going to risk that Wubu won't die yet. Actually. No, yeah. I'm going to risk that... Oh, shit. Um, never mind. It looks like we're going to have to change our plans a little bit. I thought Wubu was going to sort of stay near the gate, but he's just, he's heading straight for one shout. Looks like we're going to have to take care of him now. Oh boy, this will be fun. And this is what can happen sometimes. Sometimes Wubu will just go in the middle of one shout's forces when they move, and he'll fern him, and then you'll have to deal with him. I mean, sometimes he just kind of stays around and does nothing, but you got to be careful. Anyway, I'm going to pop a save here because we're going for after a very tough task of woo-boo, so we'll be right back.